There's been so many things that's held us down But now it looks like things are finally coming around I know we've got a long, long way to go And where we'll end up Well, good morning, Democrats. How are you? I have the great honor of being the speaker who follows Speaker John A. Perez. And believe me, after all he just shared regarding our work in the Assembly and the Legislature, I know that I have big shoes to fill as I step into the role of speaker later this spring. I want to publicly acknowledge and personally thank him for his tireless work ethic and his political vision, which has helped us achieve a supermajority, which in turn has resulted in a legislative agenda that has strongly represented democratic values in this state. It's, an, it's important to note in this incredibly diverse crowd today that I will become only the second Democratic woman, the second member of the LGBT community, and the first San Diegan to be Speaker of the California State Assembly. And I want to thank my Assembly colleagues for that great honor. And on behalf of my Assembly colleagues, all of whom are here this weekend, we want to say thank you. Thank all of you loyal, hardworking, dedicated, tenacious Democrats. It's really a genuine pleasure to be here. And of course, based on the stories from last night, it's truly amazing that some of you actually made it over here this morning. And you know, amazing is a pretty apt description of the past few years. From where we were as a state when I first arrived in Sacramento three years ago to where we are now. Well, there's only one possible explanation. Democratic leadership. That's right. I mean the democratic leadership you make possible by winning election after election. Just imagine a California without democratic leadership. You know we wouldn't be leading the nation on enacting the Affordable Care Act with well over 800,000 enrollees and counting. We wouldn't be raising the minimum wage or ensuring that hardworking, undocumented people can drive on our roads without fear, or standing with caregivers, or expanding access to clean, renewable energy, or restoring funds for our schools and universities. Without strong, principled democratic leadership, we sure wouldn't be protecting the basic human right to marry the one that you love. And we wouldn't be the one state advancing reproductive rights while so many other states have seen those rights for women and girls eroded. Without you, without you, none of that would be possible. It's really that simple. Let me put it like this. You are the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party is California. And guess what? Californians like it that way. And that's why California voters say yes. When Democrats ask if we could get rid of that arcane, that ineffective two-thirds supermajority to pass a budget, Californians said yes. When we ask for an extension of our sales tax to get through the hardest recession since the Great Depression, they said yes. Did they want to invest in their schools? Yes. In health care? Yes. The answers have been yes, yes, yes. And I'm very hopeful that when we ask Californians to do right by our veterans and pass Proposition 41 in June of this year to provide housing and supportive services for those who have served our country, they will again say yes. When I was thinking about what I wanted to say to you today, I knew I wanted and I knew I needed to thank you. And I wanted to share our successes as a legislature because what we've been able to do is because of you. Because of your work on the ground in every single community in our great state, from north to south, east to west, urban and rural. As you turn new counties blue, like my own county, San Diego, in 2008, and together we continue to hold the line where we have been true blue and successful. 
But it's really more than that. It's an incredible, successful partnership that's helping to improve and restore the quality of life for all Californians. And we still have lots of work to do. But you know what? We have a plan. We have a political plan to ensure that we elect the right public servants to office so that we can push forward a policy plan to get more people to share in all of the benefits this great state has to offer. So I have to ask you, will you continue to say yes? Will you be our party's partner in electing good public servants? Will you be my partner in helping the legislature move our democratic values forward and send more Democrats to Sacramento? Are we ready to volunteer to walk more precincts? Make more phone calls? Deliver those yard signs? Well, it was pretty obvious to me what you would say today. And how did I know that? Because it's what you do. When asked if you would spend your weekend talking about politics, debating strategy, preparing for elections, I knew that answer would be a resounding yes. Not everybody does what you do. You are not average. You are exceptional. Now, I know that's not news. You know how important you are. But I needed you to hear it from me and from those of us serving in the State Assembly. You are not just the people who can do, you are the people who will do. You know, when Speaker John Perez and Senate President Pro Tem Daryl Steinberg attained supermajority status, the Republicans and their noise machine predicted we would be reckless and we wouldn't be able to control ourselves. How wrong they were. <laughs> On wages on paid family leave, on schools, on climate and immigration, on health care, on workers' rights, and on retirement. We are doing the right thing. And as a result, over the last few years, it's been nothing less than a complete transformation of California's reputation. We didn't just climb out of the valley of deficit. We rose to the summit of surplus. We stepped back from the precipice, and we strode to the pinnacle. We took a state that seemed to be the punchline for a national joke, and we made it a how-to guide for successful governance. That is what Californians expect of us. That's what we expect of each other, and don't doubt it for a second. It's exactly what we're going to keep on delivering because of you and thanks to you. Thank you, Democrats.